Hi everybody and welcome back. Um, this video is actually intended as a supplement to a video I did about almost two years ago now to the to the day on Jux 1.7. Um, since then there have been a few new formulas, a couple of uh, new things added, particularly um, orbit traps, which is what I'm going to concentrate on with this this lecture. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see on screen, I have the default, uh, the default window loaded or the default fractal loaded, um, having launched Jux. Um, we'll take a look. Uh, let's let's go over the formulas. We'll have a look at Narl possibly. Uh, this is one of the new ones. Okay, it's a bit different to to all of the others. When you just click on Narl by default, this is what you get. Okay, it doesn't really help. Um, so let's go back to what Garth says here. Okay, he says use Julia inset and orbit trap for color. Okay, so we'll be using the Julia w window if you remember this from the previous video. Um, we'll go into color okay okay so let's play with the inset okay he recommends this okay um so okay straight away we're actually seeing an update we're seeing some color um okay so i'm kind of liking one of these maybe this one uh means han h okay and if if you actually you can play with the inside and outside okay uh, colorings this is the gradient it's going to use so this here it's i set it to, to use the exterior so let's toggle open exterior and let's change this uh let's give it something in that i kind of like okay let's go with this gray one okay um nothing else at the moment let's leave it at that okay let's go into formula um, nice over the window because we've now got an image and as you can see in the actual Julia window up here okay when I mouse mouse over I'm getting some kind of results okay so we're trying to pick out a pick out a Julia we can go ahead and modify this too in a minute so if you remember again this is shift click okay which will update the fractal window with the Julia the Julia version okay so that's not too bad for a start is it okay let's go back into coloring okay and down the bottom here we have the new orbit traps okay let's click on enabled okay and straight away you can sort of see something here right in right in center so let's play around with the various different uh the various different options okay so <laughs> uh we don't really like this knob so if we go down to the minimum iterations and up that a bit, we might be able to get rid of this or change it, okay? So as it happens, uh, it's kind of updated nicely just by upping the, the minimum iterations. Let's give it a color, okay? Tri click on the gradient tab. Again, if we click on the, uh, the eye icon, we can toggle through the, uh, the various options. Okay, let's go back to uh, okay, not everybody's going to have maybe my previous my previous um, tutorials. They're not going to have the updated gradients, but you know, I just picked one here. Uh, wrap. Okay, we're playing with the density, holding down shift, clicking and dragging up and down. We can get you know a flavor that we like a bit more by hitting the offset. We can toggle it around. Okay. Um, let me go back into the exterior while we're here and do something similar with this, okay? Uh, oops, sorry, the exterior, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, it's not letting me do it because this has been governed by the inset, okay? Um, so in the inset, we adjust the offset in here and also the density, okay? So the density, okay, can radically get, uh, how would you say, eliminate a lot of those excess lines if you don't want them there okay so look at that i mean i've pretty much got rid of them entirely here okay i've got this nice simple uh gnarl sitting on my desktop okay 
um, I'm going to click on the memory dot to actually save the coloring also on the memory dots because it's a Julia click both in the formula okay and then I'm going to go to the lighting tab and enable that just to see what this throws up okay so clicking on the eye again okay just to see what we what we have here so we have a, a couple of I, I like the actual first few I don't really like these too much um, possibly something like that okay now if you see this the gnarl here in the center okay this is what we've enabled with the the standard orbit trap let's click back on coloring again or sorry we'll stick in lighting go down the bottom to orbit traps here okay and you can play with the options here okay and we can get different flavors here um you know just by changing the algorithm you know, get different colors different different flavorings it can add texture okay so again the texture if we go back into the coloring okay and you click on the texture tab you can adjust the texture in here as well okay um so really i mean this is up to you it's experimentation i'm just showing you what's there okay um at this point i'm actually going to save the fractal okay um so narrow demo i'm going to call it uh, okay so i've saved the fractal um yeah because i want to actually let's add another trap okay traps enable i can actually add a second trap okay let's make this big so we can see it uh, okay I'm, s I'm back in the first i've got to go click back i have to i've clicked on the second trap i have to actually click on number two just make sure okay to confirm it's got a, the gray gradient still so this is the one we want to concentrate on now not on 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 the one i don't want to destroy the the one i was previously working on so let's make this big okay so again we can kind of see it in the center just by dragging the the, the offset up and down or the gradient offset pick the size and bring that up okay okay let's give it a different shape okay so taurus something we like okay let's wheel let's put a hole in the wheel okay let's change the gradient for the wheel um okay that looks kind of nice just again uh, just randomly picking stuff I'm, i've got no real uh how would you say agenda here okay um pure experimentation okay so again you know, depending on the look you're going for let's have uh what happens if i give this some texture let's okay let's randomize the texture here okay so once with the texture tab selected let's click on the randomize button okay i kind of like that that's gnarlier looking okay so we can up and down the actual uh the horizontal and vertical frequencies okay see if that's going to change anything much let's up the octaves a bit okay ah okay so the octaves have made it a bit chunky okay now i'm thinking it's a little bit too dark so gradient okay, let's click on wrap see what that does not a lot let's go on uh, texture power okay this is the one i'm looking for uh, okay okay i'm finding this to be too dark so let's double click on the gradient uh double click on the dots below let's go on to adjust hsv and up the brightness okay um saturation i don't want to uh, yeah i want it saturated enough not too much okay uh, let's see gamma no that's fine i think okay let's let's leave it at that go back to the lighting tab again and see what we can do in here um so we're on the orbit traps again aha uh -huh. so just by bringing this up okay i'm going to actually click drag just reposition it a bit okay uh
Okay, and I'm going to leave it at that. There, I'm going to call it done. Uh, so I'm going to save this off. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll upload the actual video and quite possibly the BRAM file that uh, file with it, so you can have a have a look around and try to follow how I got to this. But this is like really quick and purely random. Okay. Um, so that's it again okay i hope you've enjoyed it but like i said really this is intended as a supplement to my original uh, video which can be found on this channel okay the the jux 1.7 demo okay